the number one mistake that i have found in the students is that they start their preparation a little late yes after completing their post graduation they start preparing for ugc net examination which i think is a little late the very best thing is to start early as soon as possible the best time is to start preparing for competitive exams after completing the graduation yes in your graduation you can figure out what you have to do with your career you can participate in events you can participate in workshops hobbies new activities to figure out what you want to do as the lifetime long-term career but as soon as you complete your graduation you must be able to uh, figure out you will you must be able to make the decision uh, what you all have to do for the rest of your career but that's fine if you are not able to study in your graduation or post graduation and if you have made the decision to crack this ugc net examination then it will take at least five to six months to pick up the wavelength as compared to other students who have been preparing in their graduation and post graduation so by now you must have prepared for this upcoming ugc net examination for the last four months or three months and in this video i'm going to share with you what all are the things you have to do in these 35 days to get some extra marks to have some little improvement in your score uh, in the upcoming ugc net examination all right so before beginning this video if you have not checked out our study material on both paper one and paper two in english literature then you can simply check it out on our official website limitlessliterature.com check the link in the description below to know more about our study material now without any further delay let's begin this discussion so now let's come on to a quick fact that you have to crack this ugc net examination then you must have to target 80 plus questions in the examination all right there will be 150 questions and you have to score at least 80 plus questions in order to crack this examination for me it was always about 30 questions in paper one and 50 questions in paper two yes this is the thing which i always uh, target for uh, paper one 30 questions and paper two 50 questions yes i can score much more questions in paper one uh, but due to lack of interest of my personal interest in uh, paper one i have not uh, studied it or you can say i always try to avoid this but literature is what all i have been interested in and i try to score more and more questions right in literature paper two all right so combining both paper one and paper two you must have to target 80 questions right in the examination you can go with any target 35 questions in paper one 45 questions in paper 2 32 questions in paper 1 or 48 questions in paper 2 any target whatever suits you the best for me it was always 30 questions in paper 1 and 50 questions in paper 2 and now the important thing you have to understand is that all these 80 questions most of the questions in these 80 questions will be get correct only through intelligent guesswork all right you can say intelligent guesswork or smart smart guesswork or you can say using the elimination technique all these 80 questions are going to be get connected through the guesswork i'm not talking about the guesswork that many students do what they do is they put ccc options everywhere right in the examination for every question they put c c c c c c and i don't find anyone who have cracked the examination uh, like this all right yes most of the time uh, students are making b or c options right but that is not the uh, case when it comes for the competitive exams i haven't find anyone who have cracked by using this technique so uh, what we have to do is we have to train our brain to do intelligent guesswork so that we can have extra marks in the examination even the teachers who have been teaching literature sit in the examination go with the intelligent guesswork they also don't know a lot of questions so most of the time it is always intelligent guesswork and for this intelligent guesswork uh, we are preparing every day for five hours for the four five months all right so the very first thing you have to accept is that you cannot complete the whole english literature slivers no matter how many books you have no matter how many notes you have you can have david Deches, rot ledge oxford any other book peter barry mk nair uh, pk nair whatever books you have in your bookshelf it does not mean that you are going to score much more higher marks you need to understand the value of limiting your resources whatever notes or whatever material you have made in the last four to five months you have to keep on revising those notes those material quite repeatedly in these 35 days simply read and revise the notes you already have do not try to make new notes all right keep on revising literary theory british literature language linguistics and magazines these four topics you have to keep on revising again and again and again because most of the questions will come from these subjects only 
if someone says that two three questions will come from african literature then this is not the right time to start a new subject to start african literature yes two three questions will come from caribbean literature but it is not the right time to start that literature keep on revising the notes absorbing the notes keep on doing the revision because many students fail to crack the exam just because of lack of revision they keep on writing down the notes till the very end to the exam and that is why they fail to exam because they do not get on to the habit of revising the notes what they are writing down so keep on revising and repeating and absorbing the notes you already have in these 35 days the next thing i want to share with you is that start practicing reading comprehension and data interpretation almost 10 to 15 questions will come from these two topics five questions of reading comprehension in paper one five qu five questions of reading comprehension in paper two and five questions come in data interpretation in paper one almost 12 to 13 questions will come from these two topics and students are studying for what is unpredictable but i don't know why they are not studying for what is predictable these 13 questions are predictable if you spend one hour or if you spend just 30 minutes in on these two topics every day i'm sure uh, your chances to crack this examination will increase drastically these two topics are not that much difficult not that much uh, uh, tough they only require practice and you have to practice it every day 30 day 30 minutes a day that's that's fine 30 minutes a day and you will have 100 percent accuracy in the examination 10 to 13 questions matters a lot so study for what is predictable do not study for what is not predictable what you can do is you can simply get a book from the market on reading comprehension data interpretation most of the questions you will find in uh, banking banking books or ssc competitive examination books or upsc examination books or cat 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 examination books you are going to find out good level of questions from reading comprehension data interpretation from all these uh, competitive exams the level of ugc net is a, low, a little lower than ssc banking cat and other examinations so you if you are preparing for these uh, examination reading comprehension data imputation uh, then surely you are going to get questions right from these two topics in your ugc net examination all right so this is not the right time to start a new topic if someone is saying you to start a new book then please avoid it please avoid writing more and more notes limit yourself get confident about whatever material you have keep on revising and repeating track your hours every day in the mobile application i used to use the mobile application forest to track my everyday hours so whenever i study i simply switch on this mobile application and it goes on tracking what all i have been studying in the past one week in the past one hour in the past one month all right so this is a great app which i used to do uh, when i was studying when i was preparing for the net examination uh, you can have other applications there are a lot of alternatives to this mobile application forest you can simply check it out on the google play store but try to track your studies studying hour because it is always about doing better than yourself instead of doing better than other students yes competitive examination or any other examination or any other thing in life matters not how much better you are doing from other students from other teachers it is always about doing better than yesterday the day before yesterday it is always about the competition between you and yourself all right so this is what all i have to share in this particular video i hope you found the video worth your time i wish you all the very best for the upcoming examination that's it for this video thank you